Hey guys, welcome back to another videos. And in today's videos, I'm gonna show you guys the best OBS recording settings in 2024. Or at least what I thought the best OBS recording settings for myself. And if you've been watching my channel before, you know that I rarely make this type of content. But I've been planning on making these videos for years, so let's get started. So first, after you launch or open your OBS, we're gonna go to the settings. Then we're gonna go to the output menu. For the output mode, we change it from simple to advanced. And then we're gonna go to recording settings. And first, for the recording path, you can choose where you want to save or store your video files. I leave mine at default, but if you have an additional drive or storage for saving your video files, I recommend you to use that instead of your boot drive. Next, for the recording format, we can either choose MKV or MP4. MKV is more suitable for long duration videos, and if you don't want to lose your videos or your recordings when your OBS or your PC crashed, I recommend to use .MKV. And then for more general recordings, I recommend to choose .MP4 because most people use it and it is widely supported by every streaming platform and also editing software. Unlike MKV which is not supported by Adobe Premiere Pro and you had to use some plugins to be able to edit your MKV videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the video encoder, I recommend you to choose NVIDIA NVENC AV1 but this is still a pretty new encoder so not every GPU or every PC has it yet but if you do have this encoder, I highly recommend you to use the AV1 encoder not the AOM AV1 or the SVT AV1, use the NVIDIA NVENC AV1 or AMD AV1 or the QuickSync AV1. But if you don't have the AV1 encoder, you can choose the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 or AMD Hardware H.264. For some of you who had Intel GPUs, you can use the QuickSync H.264. For now, I'm just gonna use the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 because most people are still using this encoder. And then for the audio track, you can choose each of the audio track that you want to record i choose three one is for the desktop or the game sounds and the second is for my mic and then the third one is for my discord or my spotify and then in the encoder settings for rate control either choose cqp or cbr for the cqp you want to set your cq level from 15 to 18 if you want to record 1080p videos and if you want to record a 1440p videos i recommend from 19 to 25 cq level i mostly record a 1080p videos so i will use 16 cq level for cbr i recommend you to set it to 18,000 to 25,000 bitrate for 1440p videos and set it from 25,000 to 50,000 for 1080p videos and then for the keyframe interval i recommend you to leave it at 0 seconds or 2 seconds for the preset, you can either choose P5, P6, or P7. I usually use P6. P7 gonna give you the best image quality, but also gonna lower your gaming performance. So we're gonna choose P6. For the tuning, set it to high quality. For the multipass mode, either choose two passes quarter resolution or two passes full resolution. The full resolution gonna give you better image quality, but also gonna lower your gaming performance. So we're gonna choose two passes quarter resolution. For the profile, we're gonna set it to high. If you're using the AV1 encoder, just leave it at default because there's only one option. Then we're gonna uncheck look ahead and then we can either check or uncheck the cycle visual tuning. For the GPU, we're gonna set this to zero and max P frames, either two or three, depending on your GPU. If you had Nvidia GPU, set this to two if you have an amd or intel gpu set this to 3 so for some of you who doesn't have any hardware encoder like av1 h264 or hvc you can use the x264 which is basically your cpu so your obs gonna use your processor to encode your video so you might be getting less fps when you're playing games while recording now for the encoder settings, this is pretty much the same. For the rate control, if you're using CBR, you might want to set your bitrate from 20,000 to 30,000 bitrate. I'm just going to set it to 25,000. And then for the keyframe interval, this is the same. Set it between 0 or 2 seconds. For the CPU presets, you might want to leave this at default if you have a higher end or modern CPU. But I recommend you to set it to super fast to minimize performance hit. And then set the profile to high and leave the tune at default. If you had a low-end CPU or an older model CPU, you might want to set your CPU presets to ultra fast and then make your bitrate higher from 30,000 to 40,000 bitrate. I'm just going to set it to 35,000 or 40,000. And if you're using the CRF rate control, 
you might want to set your CRF from 16 to 20 if you're using the ultra fast CPU presets but if you're using the super fast CPU preset you might want to set your CRF from 19 to 25 then we hit apply and go to the audio options here you can set your audio bitrate for each tracks and basically just set this at 320 for every audio track that you're gonna use then for the replay buffer here we can enable a replay buffer which is basically like Nvidia instant replay or AMD game replay you can set the amount of replay time that you're gonna save and you can also set your maximum memory that OBS is gonna use to temporarily save your replay buffer then we're gonna go to the audio settings for the sample rate set this at 48 kilohertz and then for the channels set this at stereo for the desktop audio set this to default or your default listening devices such as your headset headphones or earphones for the mic audio set this to your default input device or an external mic from your headset earphone or an actual additional mic then we're gonna go to the video settings for the base canvas resolution, set this to your native display resolution. My native display resolution is 1440p, so I'm gonna set it at 1440p. And if you don't know your native display resolution, you can just right click on your desktop and then go to the display settings. You can then scroll down until you see the display resolution and here you will see your native display resolution. For the output resolution, this is gonna be your video resolution so i will set this at 1080p because i usually record 1080p videos and if your base resolution and your output resolution is different then you will need to set your downscale filter i recommend to use the lang sauce or the bike cubic but if you see some blocking or blurriness in your video you can just change from bike cubic to lang sauce for the fps set this to 60 but if you don't want to record a high fps videos you can just set this at 30 and if you want to record a higher FPS videos like 120 FPS, you can set the common FPS values to integer. Then you can set your FPS that you want to record your videos in. If for some reason you need to record your videos at a higher FPS than 120, you can change the integer FPS value to fractional FPS value and then change the numerator to whatever FPS you want to record in. Like for example, 240 FPS or 360 or even 1000 fps but you also need to know if your gpu is capable enough to do high fps recordings then we're just gonna hit apply and then go to the advanced settings here for the process priority i recommend this at normal or you can either choose below normal or idle but if you saw some frame drops in your videos and you get some random encoding overloaded message from your obs you might want to change it to above normal or high for the renderer, leave it at Direct3D11. And then for the color format, I use NV12. And then for the color space, you can either set this to sRGB or Rec.709. For the color range, change it from limited to full. That's it, hit apply, OK, and you're good to go to record your videos. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy and like this video. If you have some questions, feel free to comment down below and I will make sure to try to answer some of your questions. And yeah, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel because why not, and see you guys in the next video.